How's it going everybody? Jason Boone here from premiumbeat.com. For this tutorial, I'm going to take a look at how to work with Illustrator files in Adobe After Effects. Specifically, I'm going to look at how to bring Illustrator layers into After Effects and prepare them for animation. I'm going to show you how to prep your file in Illustrator and I'll also teach you all the ways to import your file in Adobe After Effects. And finally, I'll go over a few methods of how to manipulate your Illustrator files further once you're inside After Effects. Let's get started. So I'm working on a motion graphics project with a client, and this client has provided me with this EPS file here, a nice EPS file map of the United States. And what they want me to do with this is they want to have me make some animations of the United States, and they want to have also some specific animations with each state on its own, each individual state in its own animation. So I need to be able to prepare this file in Illustrator so when I import it into After Effects I can isolate each state as well as isolate the United States from the rest of this map. So let's take a look at our EPS file. Luckily it's well put together and clearly labeled. I have the a layer for the USA with all the different states. It's all labeled. That's all well and good. So let's get to work here and really prepare this for After Effects. The first thing I want to do is save this out as an Illustrator file because After Effects gives you more import options. It just works better with an Illustrator file. So I'm going to click Save As and then I will go change the format here to an AI file and I'm going to delete the word original just so that we know this is a copy here. And be sure to select Create PDF Compatible File so that it works well with After Effects. So I'm going to leave everything as else as and it's set to default here. Since this is a copy, I can just go ahead and get rid of all of these layers here, which I don't need. And that will isolate the United States here. And as you saw before, this is a pretty well put together Illustrator file. We have all these different paths here for each state. Now, when we're working with After Effects, the way After Effects reads these Illustrator files is it looks at the layers. So right now if I import this into After Effects it's just going to recognize this one layer because everything else, all the other states are within this layer. And it's going to read your transparency information as an alpha so we don't need to worry about that. It'll automatically turn this into an alpha channel. So what I need to do is I need to take all of these states and I need to put them in their own layer. So to do that I'm going to select all of the states, go up to the menu here and select release to layers and then I'm going to select all these again and bring them out of our USA layer here. And now I'm going to save and this file is ready to be imported. So I have my Illustrator file prepped and ready to go. I'm in my After Effects projects, but I wanted to make a quick note about importing. I'm going to show you a variety of different ways to bring in this Illustrator file and a variety of ways to manipulate it once it's inside of After Effects. But I want you to know that there's no best method. The variety of methods that I show you, just pick the one that works for you and go with that. Okay, so I'm going to select the Illustrator file here that we prepared and click Open. Now we have the Import dialog box where you'll see there's two main methods of importing this Illustrator file. We can import it as footage or as a composition. So with footage, we have the option to merge the layers or to choose an individual layer. So if I import the merged layers, it's just going to import one single file of our Illustrator file with the transparency here. So here we have our full United States map, which is all well and good. But let's say we want to have these layers. We, we want to be able to split off these individual layers here. So let's double click again and import this again. And now we could go through and import each individual layer if we wanted to. Let's say we're working on a particular project where we only wanted one layer, but we want all of these layers. So I don't need to import a single layer. I need to import all of these layers. So to do that, I'm going to go over to Composition, and then I want to change my footage dimensions because if I set this to document size, watch what happens. Then all of our layers are going to be the same size as our document, which we don't want, and I'll show you why. I'm going to import this comp. Now we open up our comp. And if we look at each layer, it imported a folder of our layers here. Now if we open up one particular layer, you're going to see that it's the size of the document. And our anchor point and everything is going to be off. So we want to have this as the size of the layer. So if we go back, 
select our Illustrator file here, select Open, and then we'll change this to Layer Size. Select OK. Open up our comp here, and now you'll see there's another folder. It imported all the layers again, and if I open up one of these layers, sorry, it's a little bit wonky there, it's showing you that it is layer size. Okay, so now we have all of our assets in our After Effects project set and ready to go. We have a full map of the United States as a one single merged layer, which we can animate. And we have a composition with all of our individual states as layers. Let me show you one other tip which can really help you out and open up a lot of possibilities. So these are all layers. Now what I want to do is if I wanted to, I could select these. I'm going to do just a few as an example. Let me grab these five. And if I go to Layer, I can do Create Shapes from Vector Layer. And it's going to take those paths, and now I have shape layers out of these vectors, and I can go through and delete these. Well, the benefit of this is if you open up the shape layer, you're going to look and see all of the possibilities with shape layers now you can apply to your states which is just really impressive. You can add quick fill stroke, some gradients to your fills and strokes. You can merge paths. You can do some pucker and bloat, wiggle effects. You can do some morphing in between each. So if you want to open up these possibilities, you can quickly convert these to shape layers. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.